All right, we are back, and I've been waiting for a long time to get this gentleman on this show. Because if you calls, if you guys remember back in December, we had him on with his disguise because we did FaceTime that night because we couldn't get the Zoom to work, so we did FaceTime with Santa Claus. Santa was here uh, on the show with Nicole Truskowski back show number 68 in December. This is Ed Dunn, and he's my good buddy from Fresno, California. We have been pals for a long, long time, and I've been, it's 15 years since he and Janelle have come over to the Monterey Peninsula, so I had to drag them over here. <laughs> Glad we came. Are you happy to be here, buddy oh, boy? Oh, I love it. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And to hang around with you over here? I... Well, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Now, the reason that they don't come to Monterey, uh, to the peninsula, is because they have a home down in, Pis in Pismo. Well, above, in, yeah, right by Pismo. Right by but, Pismo. Yeah, in, so in they, Napomo, they, they so. take they take f Highway 41 over to 101. 41 and then to 46. 46, and, right. and then into that area over there. And I have other friends that live down there, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Well, this whole cent this coast. You Central know, coast. The, yeah, yeah, and I, I consider this the north part of the central. This it's is all the north part. It's all yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It's lovely. But anyway, Ed has a varied career. He's been a businessman for many, many years, been in business over in the Fresno area. But he also has other lives, okay? He, he goes into disguise. Now, a few years back, he decided that he wanted to do a series of television, little two or three minute snippets. And he did a show called The Lazy Landscaper. So he was the lazy landscaper. So, Rachel, let's put that little video on and show him. And this is so well done. In fact, it should have been a series. And then he went off and did another gig, so he didn't do the series. But let's show uh, this pilot of your lazy landscaper right now. Here he is, the guy who believes in gardening made easy, Eddie, the lazy landscaper. Eddie, Eddie. Wake up! You're on! Whoa, I was just catching a nice rest there, you know. Hey, I'm Eddie the Lazy Landscaper. All right, you caught me taking a nap. And I take several of those a day if I can. Because you know why? I like being out and enjoying a garden, or in this case, a big commercial nursery. But you know what? You don't have to work hard all day long. You don't have to break your back have a beautiful, lovely, efficient garden. And that's what I'm about. I'm the lazy landscaper. I appreciate beautiful gardens. I appreciate water-wise plants, especially where I live in the Central Valley of California. But you know what? You can have your plants and enjoy them too. In this case, less is better. Less work, more enjoyment. So let me take you around and show you some of the plants that I love. I travel all over the United States to arboretums and commercial nurseries and experimental gardens and demonstration gardens just to find the very best plants that last the best, that are disease resistant, that don't require a lot of water, don't require a lot of work, and still are abundant, beautiful, with long, blooming cycles and last for a long time. So hang with me. I think you'll enjoy some of the things I show you. And look for me soon in your area. Or maybe you'll hear me on the radio or see me on TV or read one of my magazine articles or come to my website, thelazylandscaper.com. Email Eddie at thelazylandscaper.com or look for me on Facebook. I'm everywhere. And I love doing that. I'm everywhere, but I still don't work hard at it. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for getting to know me better. And I really appreciate fellow gardeners who have my same philosophy. If I work hard at anything, it's being lazy. All right. <laughs> now that was the Lazy Landscapers series. 
And you were planning on doing that uh, as a, a syndicated kind of uh, adventure well, for television stations. Yeah, and, and you know, and it, then uh, you got a gig I got offered a gig, to you. And, and you know how things, yeah. They, they all come at once sometimes, yeah. and that's yeah. what happened. And the uh, Property Brothers, this was like seven years ago. You, I'm sure you've, a lot of you have heard of the Property Brothers. They've done very well. Well, seven years ago, they were just kind of getting their momentum. And I thought, well, these are nice nice young men, and they are very nice young men. And they said, you know, there's nobody that does what you do. I met them at a show. Yeah. And uh, they said, you, you really should get an agent and do this. And I said, well, you know, I kind of did this as a joke. I'm a master gardener, and I kind of did it to... I sat on the board and I was kind of kidding the other master gardeners about it and I came up with this idea. And, and, and then I appreciated what they said and I thought, you know, maybe I should do that. But at the time, as you know, Gary, you remember, I got so busy and you other things. It. But I want to thank you because you ran that on all of we your did. television we stations. Did. And you got a lot and of hits. got a lot of hits. Yep. And with between that and the radio gig I was doing and the uh, magazine column I was writing... Busy Eddie, guy. Eddie was taken off. Eddie was taken off, but then but, you know, something intervened. <laughs> intervened. Uh, another gig was presented to him, and so he went off and did that. Now that's behind him, and uh, he's back. When I say he's back, he's back in many ways. And you might even revive this lazy, lazy landscape. Or thing. I've had who, people who mention that. To me. But now we yes. want to segue... We're going to segue into this other thing that he's been doing for 30... Over 30 years. Over 30 years. He, every Christmas, becomes Santa. And so let's run that little uh, thing that the local TV stations over in Fresno did for, for Ed. Can you put that one on, Rachel? The Fresno County District Attorney Charitable Foundation is proud to partner with KC24 for Inspiring the Valley. This is the time of year we see a lot of Santas bringing Christmas joy to children. And tonight, Juanita Stevenson tells us about a Fresno businessman who aspires to embody the true spirit of St. Nicholas. Good morning. How are you? Ed Dunn is a sales executive for a national prescription benefit management company. He likes his job. But Dunn has this whole other life. <laughs> For the past 30 years, Dunn has also assumed the personality of Santa. <laughs> you know, I, I just get a gratification because I think that the spirit of St. Nicholas is is very precious and um, you know I'm not so much for Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer and all that stuff but there was a real Saint Nicholas and he did good things every year at about this time Dunn with the help of his wife who he affectionately calls Mrs. Claus dresses up in his Santa suit and prepares to greet hundreds of children here we go I do it voluntarily there's not for any other reason that I love doing it it started with him playing Santa for friends and a few charities but about six years ago he was asked to play Santa for Martin Luther King Jr. elementary schools annual toy giveaway you ready to get a present from Santa it's a huge event for kids who have many needs many are fortunate and have a lot of things but teaching here I hear stories from kids I know what they deal with every day and the fact that I can add a little more warmth to their heart and put a smile on their face means a lot. Ed Dunn is a big part of bringing that joy. Merry Christmas sweetie. He spends hours greeting. Hi what's your name? Hugging. Oh Charlene oh she's a great hugger. And trying to grant these kids wishes. I have been asked you know can you uh, please make my mother better. Uh, can you please um, send my father home? Uh, yeah. Uh, so I do get those kind. And I get some funny ones, too. This event is a labor of love for the teachers and other volunteers who help put it on. The more than 600 toys collected by students at San Joaquin Memorial and St. Anthony's schools. It takes a team for sure. We all work together. We hold signs. We make announcements at school. We tell, text all our friends, like, bring toys, bring toys. So it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Ed Dunn says playing Santa for the kids at King Elementary is his most gratifying role. The spirit of Santa Claus exists, and I, I harness that. 
every year. I'm telling you, the spirit of Christmas is here. For Inspiring the Valley, Juanita Stevenson, KC24, local news that matters. And Dunn estimates that over the 30 years he has played Santa, that he's brought Christmas cheer to more than 5,000 kids. That's a, wow. it's a lot of kids on the lap. I know. Wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful man. Come on by. There we are. <laughs> Thank you oh, to oh, Channel oh. 24 and Channel 47 and Fresno yeah, for that. They did a wonderful job wonderful on Wonderful job really on did. you. And boy, Appreciate uh, it. You, you are a fabulous guy for doing what you do at all these years. 30-some years, over 5,000 kids you've brought joy to. And you know, Christmas actually, time. the number, it's over 5,000. But I was also taking in consideration that several of those 5,000 kids I saw in multiple years. Yeah. So as far as impressions for kids, probably 15,000 plus. Amazing. So it was, it's been joyful. Yeah. And by the way, I think you saw in the piece there, you're an alum of that great San Joaquin Memorial, Memorial High School. And those kids That's right. yeah. and parents from there have been just so faithful in helping the community. I'm so happy that I graduated from San Joaquin Memorial yeah, that, High School and friends changed my life. No, that's it's a it great really did. it's a great place and wonderful school. My wife taught tennis uh, coach tennis there that's for right. 10 years. So yeah, no, it's a wonderful Mrs. school. Mrs. Claus. Mrs. or as I like to say, my English teacher friend says she's your dependent clause. Dependent. Isn't she? <laughs> that's <laughs> dependent clause. That's a bad Anyway, job. we want to talk about this right now. This is a century of Christmas Tree Lane. Now, over in Fresno, folks, which is really something that's been going on, is it 100 years? A little over 100 been? now. That, that This was written about the 100th, which was a couple of years ago. Fresno, on um, uh, Christmas time each year, at Christmas time, they take Van Ness Avenue uh, for about, what is it, about six, seven miles it's not quite that long, but it is one of the longest, longest Christmas tree Christmas. lanes And they uh, light the up country. all the Christmas yeah. trees. It's beautiful. And uh, it's called Christmas Tree Lane. And this book now was written by Paul Hernandez and Oscar Spies. Oscar why, Spies. Why don't you talk about this Well, uh, what Christmas happened was, uh, this is actually, um, what, what now happens often is when one writes a screenplay, right. uh, or especially a, a teleplay for television, and this was written for, uh, you know, like one of the networks that do a lot of the Christmas like movies. Hallmark or Hallmark, something. Hallmark, the mm -hmm. Great American Family Network. Right. And and so now what happens, this, this is published, and it's on Amazon now for sale, but it, if you go inside it's, it's a script I, it's a script and i came up with this concept and they give me credit inside i didn't want credit here because i didn't write the whole thing i just did the research so my friend oscar spies mm -hmm. who i've known for over, over 50 Fresno. years over. longer than i've known you yeah. even over uh, in Fresno. yes well, I'm, is, I'm much younger <laughs> <laughs> yeah well we met let's see we met when we were what yeah. little kids right Anyway, uh, Oscar, uh, I said, would you take this over? Because I want to work on another screenplay about St. Nicholas. Uh -huh. and, 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 I, and I thought, I have a little more knowledge and credibility in that area, so let me give you the research I did. So, by golly, he, uh, Oscar and uh, Paul Hernandez took this thing, and they put a love story over the top of real, real history about the 100-year-old Christmas Just tree lane. lane. And so this is very exciting. So we're now shopping this to see about getting it on one of the networks. And as that's being done, then I'm going to work on my, uh, and I started work on my screenplay about St. Nicholas. There we so, go. Yeah. There we go. This, so this man's you. talents will never cease because he is, and talk about one-liners, he drives me crazy. <laughs> Because he'll always do something with a liner. <laughs> well, you do it back oh, to me, did. too. <laughs> no, you, you you are the best at it. I would never even hold a candle oh, to you. Oh, come on. You are something yeah, else. We, we have a lot of fun, though, and I really enjoy and appreciate you. This is a wonderful show you're doing. Well, of course, thank you. I've watched this show from Fresno. Well, and, we have it on the air in Fresno. And, you know, when you invited me to come over and be a guest, and with your wonderful staff here, yeah. I just was so pleased. Well, he, like I said earlier, he doesn't usually come up to the north part of the central coast. They go directly west from Fresno over to the Pismo area. And I said, when was the last time Ed, you and Janelle came over to Monterey Peninsula? And he goes, I don't know, 15 years ago? 
I said 15 years ago. Well, you're going to be tired of us now because we're coming back. You know the way here. (laughs) We know the way. You know how to get here. And uh, I did my Saturday night special for him. Oh, that was fun. We did the Mission Ranch last night. And uh, and then we went over to uh, see Debbie Davis at the Cypress Inn. And she did a few tunes for them. Uh, Debbie's... Fantastic. She was wonderful. Isn't she great? She was wonderful. The, she's there from 6.30 to 9.30 every Saturday night and been there for 14 years. Now, speaking of singing, you did a wonderful oh, Sinatra I, rendition I do. One at Sinatra, the Mission Ranch. One Sinatra song. And you were good. Are you, I, and I've known you many years, but I didn't know you could sing like that. Well, it's because yeah, I do the yeah. same song every week. Yeah, but you, that's a talent. <laughs> when I sing, the shower turns off. So, no, it's... Thank you. I, I was impressed. Thank you. Thank so thank you. you for a wonderful time. And then friend. we didn't end there at the Cypress. We walked down the street to Demetra. Oh, oh, that was great, too. And it was their first time in Demetra, both uh, Janelle and Ed. And uh, there's an atmosphere. Oh, there. <laughs> How they the, pack that in that packing, small room. Yeah, that little room. Yeah, and and Fabulous. Uh, it's one of the few places, as I say in Carmel, that you can have a bite to eat at 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, that I, I always heard that Carmel closed they, down early. And they do in the years past. That seemed to be pretty consistent. But, but uh, one of the few, but not places. that place. That no. that was like being um, in Europe or something. Yeah, you know? that's the atmosphere. Yeah, that's exactly. Bashar, who's the owner, says I wanted to have an atmosphere of like it's my home. And they and made invite- us feel very, very much at home. Yeah, they really yeah. did. Thank and you for that. And here's the other best part of this: there's nothing like our evening. On Saturday night in Carmel, anywhere in Fresno. Right, that is true. That Am is I true. right? You are 100% y- right. You can't find anything like No, uh, that was very special, and Janelle and I are still talking about it. We're going to come back over. You better believe you gotta it. you got to spend more time no, here, This Ed. is really wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much. It's been so great to have you here tonight. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. What a wonderful staff you have. This is, program is fabulous. And you're right. There is no program like this that I'm aware of anywhere there is no that one. does this combination no. of Muse. interviews, music, guests, hosts, yep. special guests, uh, weird people like me. I mean, it's, you know. <laughs> Santa Claus? Eclect- yeah, you know, to have I mean, Santa Claus When come- was the last time you guys saw he, the real Santa Claus? He never leaves the North Pole. They do They do um, vacation in, in the South Pole sometimes. Does that make him bipolar? No, I don't think that would. <laughs> but, but other than that, no. So I'm, I'm thrilled. Yeah. I really appreciate this. Well, next, uh, next Christmas, Christmas of 2024... Uh, we're going to make sure the Zoom's going to work on that All right. uh, Christmas uh, show that we do, because we usually do a show for Christmas, before Christmas, and we're going to get Santa back on the air. Uh, hopefully the Zoom will work that night, because we had to, we had to kind of jerry-rig that night. We got the, the, my, my iPhone, and we got you on FaceTime, but it worked. It worked, and and the and the tin can with the string it never know. broke. It was it, great. It was no, great. It was it was it was good. But was we'll do that again. We'll have fun with that. We and, will. And have we'll fun. really slam. And you know what? The script that he wrote, because I had a script that I was reading off of, and he had all the punchlines. You know, because Santa was doing the punchlines, and it was great. This guy <laughs> is a tremendous writer. Oh come on! That's why you should go out and grab this book off Amazon. How do we find it? What's the you, name you of it? You can go on again? Amazon and uh, bring up a century of Christmas tree lane. A century and, of Christmas tree. And lane. And this is really, um, you know, the the authors, uh, Oscar Spies and Paul Hernandez. Uh, and it's would all appreciate about what's that. happening in Fresno. Yeah, it, it, I always like those. You know, I, I, my wife and I have probably watched every Christmas made for TV so far. Yeah, uh, and we enjoy that. And there are a few of them that are especially good, where you have a basic foundation of real stuff right and then there's often a love story uh you know superimposed on yeah yeah, put on top of it it seems to have more street creds if you will that's what the kids say street Street creds uh to have a real foundation of history and that's what my book is going uh my screenplay about saint nicholas who really existed so and i'm going to do yeah do you think you'll have the saint nicholas book written by next mm -hmm. christmas of 2024 i better be yeah that's my uh is that your plan that's my goal okay well then when uh, you come on as santa you can plug the book on the show well and hopefully by then we'll have a connection uh who will who take that 
and we'll have already taken this and started production on Very it. Very good. So we can do our own kinds of Christmas stories based on real things. Wonderful idea. With with some fictionalized love story uh, on on top of that. Great idea. Yeah. Great Thank idea. you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. So much for Man. being here. We Let's had a great. I told you we oh, were going to have a great weekend. You undersold it, and you over delivered. <laughs> I appreciate you go. it. I love it. I love Thank doing it. Thank you very much. Okay. We're